What up everyone, I'm Rich Mays Lopez and this is the release roundup for the weekend of December 9th. In this week's show, we're taking a look at the releases that you need to know about from Nike, Adidas, and Jordan. Plus, we hit up Jordan Brand's Terminal 23 court here in New York City to check out the Win Like 96 and Gatorade collections. Let's get into it. Jordan Brand is flipping the Air Jordan 9 into a boot for the winter and dropping two limited colors on Wednesday. The first release features black water-resistant leather and suede with a heavy charted gum sole and the second release is inspired by the classic Olive 9 and features black leather, olive suede and red accents. Release date is December 6th at a retail price of $225 each and both colorways will be available on the Nike Sneakers app and at select Jordan retailers. Nike SB and Concepts are linking up for the holiday season once again to drop their third Nike SB Dunk High from their ugly Christmas sweater collection. The collab features a fully knitted upper with a snowman, gingerbread man, and present print, a blue embroidered swoosh, and an illustrated footbed. Release date is December 7th at a retail price of $125, and it will be available on the Nike Sneakers app and at select Nike SB retailers. Adding to the Air Max 97 that dropped a couple months back, Nike and Cristiano Ronaldo are dropping an Air Force One this weekend from CR7's Nike Sportswear collection. The CR7 Air Force One low features a white and white base with gold accents that are inspired by Cristiano's trophy collection, a croc and boss swoosh, and the CR7 logo on the heel tab. Release date is December 7th exclusively on the Nike sneakers app in Western Europe. If you missed out on the CDG Vapor Max collabs that dropped earlier this year, Nike is dropping the next best thing on Friday with two nearly identical colorways of the new Vapor Max laceless. The two colorways include a pure platinum and a triple black, which are very close to the CDG versions without the CDG branding. The Vapor Max laceless is a follow up to the Vapor Max mock that dropped a couple weeks back and is the second slip on version. Release date is December 7th at a retail price of $200 each, and both colorways will be available on the Nike Sneakers app and at select Nike retailers. Adidas, Amman Manier, and Invincible are bringing the sneaker exchange program to a close for 2017 by dropping Ultra Boost and NMD R1 collabs. Both sneakers are inspired by luxury design and feature premium cashmere primate sitting on Boost. The NMD R1 is done in black and white with the primate pattern from the Ultra Boost 1.0, and the Ultra Boost is done in triple right with a cages design and a 3D knit pattern. Release date is December 9th exclusively at Amman Manier and Invincible shops before a worldwide release on December 16th. Retail on both pairs is 200 each. Adidas and Kanye West are taking a quick break from 350 V2 to drop a gray easy power phase on Saturday. The sneaker features a solid gray colorway with premium leather, colored Adidas branding, and gold Calabasas branding. Release date is December 9th at a retail price of 120, and it will be available on adidas.com and at select Adidas retailers. Earlier this month, the release roundup crew hit up Terminal 23 here in New York City to check out the Win Like 96 and the Gatorade collections. We also caught up with Russ Bankston, Tony Mui, and Beja Velez for their thoughts on the Air Jordan legacy. What up everyone, I'm Rich Mays Lopez and we're here at Terminal 23 with the good folks at Jordan Brand are celebrating two very important stories that they're dropping this holiday season. And the first story is the Win Like Mike, AKA the Win Like 96 pack. That pack features an Air Jordan 32 Low and an Air Jordan 11 Retro that are both inspired by Michael Jordan's first championship in his second three-peat back in 1996. The Air Jordan 32 Low release date is December 4th at a retail price of 160 and it's inspired by a classic Chicago Bulls palette done in red, black, and white. Same thing goes for the Air Jordan 11. Release date is December 9th, retail price is 220 and again, inspired by the classic Chicago Bulls palette, red patent leather, red mesh, white midsole, black accents, and of course, the iconic icy outsole. Again, release date on these is 12.9. Release date on the 32 low is 12.4. The second major story that Jordan is celebrating this holiday season is the Be Like Mike, AKA the Gatorade pack, and that also features an Air Jordan 32 low and an Air Jordan 6 retro. Both colorways drop on December 16th with the 32 low priced at 160 and the Air Jordan 6 priced at 190. Both colorways are inspired by that classic Gatorade palette that Air Jordan 32 low is done in a mix of white, black, and orange with several tiebacks to the Gatorade branding, which includes the bolt on the footbed and the Be Like Mike logo slash Gatorade logo on the icy outsole. The Air Jordan 6 is done in the classic Carmine color blocking with orange suede, white leather, and hits of green, and also several links back, back to the Gatorade branding, which includes details under the tongue and the Gatorade treatment on the outsole. Release date for both is December 16th, 32 low, priced at 160, Air Jordan 6 priced at 190. So the Air Jordan 11 dropped 
back in 95, 96, but we're in 2017 and it's yeah. obviously still iconic. Mm -hmm. So much so that still blowing out, still people lining up and camping out, why? It transcends more than just sports. You can incorporate it into your everyday lifestyle. You can rock it from a fashion standpoint. It's a smooth shoe that you can just go to whenever you need it. It's a combination of him being so great and the silhouette. So clean, you can rock it casually and athletically. There's no debating. So I know that your favorite Air Jordan of all time is the Air Jordan 2. Love the 2. The Air Jordan 32 is inspired by the Air Jordan 2. So what are your thoughts on recreating that legacy in, t in today's modern technology? I mean, I think it's cool. I think the 2, you know, obviously hasn't been appreciated necessarily as much as it should have been. I feel like a lot of the things that the 3 gets credit for started with the 2. You know, losing the swoosh, being like this fashion forward design, the fact that it was made in Italy. You know, there were just so many things that stood out with that shoe. And I, was, I like the 32 for what it is. Gatorade has always been very well connected to Michael Jordan, like my commercials. There's a cultural moment when that happens. Right, so right. what are your thoughts on the release of a Gatorade Jordan collaboration? I mean, I think it's cool because I think it is, you know, it is legit, obviously. You know, you think of Jordan and like that Like Mike song, like if you ever heard it in the commercial, it just sticks in your head forever. I actually like the six. The fact that they did the six in that Carmine color blocking with the orange is something you definitely do not see with Jordans very often. So to do something that new, I think it's very cool. It's officially Jordan's holiday season. Look out for the Win Like 96 11 this weekend and the Gatorade pack later this month, which includes more Air Jordan 6s and more Air Jordan 1s. And now for our pick of the week. The Win Like 96 Air Jordan 11. It's nearly impossible to knock off an Air Jordan 11 during the holiday season. These were previously a mellow PE that people have been wanting for years, and here's your chance. That's it for this week's release roundup. Hit us up in the comments, let us know if you're copying anything. Make sure to check out the release date section on SoilClerk.com for all the most important sneaker releases, and subscribe to SoilClerk on YouTube. As always, best of luck this weekend.